Well, hello everyone out there in the Ash Tunes YouTube viewing audience, the Tune Squad, and uh, welcome to the new decade. This is the first video of 2020. I, as I'm taking this video, it is currently 1.15 in the afternoon on Thursday, January the 9th, 2020. And you're probably wondering where I've been for the past, I don't know, week or so? <laughs> Well, just like the last video, it's because I've been so single-mindedly focused on getting as much done on the studio as I can before leaving to go down to Central Florida and start the first quarter season of 2020. So, to get you caught up to where I am now, let's go ahead and do the obligatory building montage. Well, I hope that was sufficiently artistic enough to make up for all the ghosting I did for the past few days. But here we are, the, the, the new front deck with the stairs, rails, and cross braces supports that actually made it look very polished and finished, as well as stairs on the back deck and cross uh, supports on that as well. All right, let's get me out of the camera's view for a little while so you can get a better view and idea of all the progress that has been made up here on the six foot deck where the rail comes up to the side of the studio. It's not attached here. I didn't want to do that. So I added some extra support down here to get it nice and rigid. I really like how that came out. Let's go on through to the back. Now, it needs to be swept up and cleaned in here. And we come out to the little four foot deck on the back, the first one that I built. Came out really tidy, nice looking. I like how I got these angles to meet up right there. And let's end out by going to the front deck. Last I showed you guys, there was only the uprights there. The rails were not done. Now the rails are completed. And just like on the side, some extra supports right there. Make this nice and rigid. Of course, no one's going to want to climb on that considering how high we are off the ground. And there, once again, is the view. And here is that front deck from the ground. And right here, there's enough room that you can actually stand up comfortably under here. And so this is going to make, once there's a roof over the deck, this is going to make a great place to build some shelves and put tools and uh, the kayak and the bike and all those lawnmower, you know, lawn stuff and all that in here and uh, also I had to come through with the grinder and grind off all of these spikes where the screws stuck through so I think I got all those so I can roam around under here freely without worrying about getting impaled. Something else that we're having to do to try to pass inspection is add a lot of these hurricane ties in here. That is something the insurance companies have really started cracking down on to make sure that uh, 
people are putting these in. And realistically, it is nice to know that these are in place, a little bit of extra security and peace of mind. That, uh, we've got lots of them already done and a bunch more that we're gonna put in a little bit later. But that gets you guys caught up. So now you know where we are on the studio. Once again, I am sorry about how much I ghosted you guys and you know, went silent for a little while, but I had to stay focused on getting as much of this done before heading down to Florida. So the focus right now is, is something actually very important, and that is going to be the tire on the driver's side of my camper. And this is important. This is my home. This is where I live when I'm out on the road. And I have been noticing through the rearview mirror that this tire does a little bit of a shimmy as I'm driving on the road. And I last year, I already had the tire and the wheel replaced. And it kind of stabilized it a little bit, but it's still there. That shimmy is still there. So the only thing I can figure is that the hub in here and maybe the bearings have gone bad. And that is important to me, for me to get this fixed. All right, we're in. We're into the hub. I'm going to try taking the axle nuts completely off and seeing what that does. All right, well that did the trick. It's coming off. Oh. Here we go. It's all the way out now. I'm going to start by getting a new hub and a new set of bearings and putting those in. We'll see where we go from there, so let's do that. Well, they've got the hubs there and the um, bearings all out up here. And uh, I, I brought mine just to make sure that I'm replacing it with the exact same thing, but I'm not sure exactly exactly how to match them up. I might have to get somebody over here to help me out. 1, 15, 20. Yep. It's a cute dog. Well, to make this a little more vlog-like, I've decided to show you where I'm stopping for lunch. And uh, also, a little pointer to how to get good, healthy lunch while on the road. Um, don't ever uh, overlook grocery store delis like this one out here at the Food City. And you can get baked chicken and uh, vegetable sides, all this together with the drink. Now, you want to make your, your tea a little bit less sugary. It's easy to just mix the sweet and the unsweet together so you get, still get a little sweet, but it's not the syrup that they normally sell you. Um, yeah, all this together for about seven seventy-five. A lot better for you than stopping to get those burgers and fries. I've been trying to do a lot more of this kind of stuff this year. A little more of an ordeal than I thought, but I got the. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. Ah, there we go. I got the pin to go on through the hole. Uh, let's get the uh, grease gun going here. Just pump it full so we're full of grease now. Let's get the wheel back on there. Uh, release my gun. Release the. Uh, there. Okay. it is all put back together it's about 5 30 now so we are quickly running into daylight but let's get all this cleaned up and uh hitch up and drive drive the camper a few miles a good 20 miles and see see what it does see if it heats up see if the shimmy stops well, we have got a goof uh, i messed up somewhere all right i'm at the bp now drove it about three and a half miles and we've got a terrible a terrible wobble here and um, it got hot threw the cap off and then put all, all this grease out here I'm thinking I might not have got the um, axle nut in there far enough I, I don't know I'm gonna have to try to get everything back together well, that's what it looks like on the inside now. 
the uh, the calder pin actually broke apart, but I was able to get it out. Um, yeah. All right, it's nine o'clock now. As we went to AutoZone and got a new kit, and I'm gonna try putting the old axle back on. It's the one I got was probably sized wrong. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 9 o'clock at night, it's getting cold. Hopefully this will work. Well, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning the next day now. And it's all back together. We're back here at the house. I was able to come back home and, and get some sleep. It took until about 11.30 at night, sitting out there in that BP, dark, cold, extremely windy, parking lot pounding out the old runner, runners and the old hub and uh, getting it all repacked all back together and uh, it's it's working fine now it's not heating up uh, I'm gonna have to get a new cap of course to replace this one that got thrown off and then clean all this oil out but yeah I know how to do it now though if this ever needs to be completely pulled apart and uh, the bearings taken out and repacked and whatnot. I, I know how to do it. I can do it now. <laughs> it, uh, there's, there's no equivalent to learning in real life. You know, you can watch videos and whatever, but... Uh, well... Now, it's just seeing if, if I can somehow get some of those parts that I didn't really need returned back to TSC. We'll see what they say. Back at the TSC, I told them exactly what happened and they uh, allowed me to return them. So kudos to TSC. Thank you so much. That brought the total cost of the repair from 115 down to about 65. And um, I'm not sure exactly why, but we had to rotate the two tires on either side of the camper, but the wobble is finally gone. It's finally, finally gone. <sighs> anyway, um, because I'm towing the camper, I'm taking Nestor on a ride, too. He seems to be enjoying his time out of the camper, back out on the road a little bit. Uh, so, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end this episode. It has been exhausting. Uh, screwing up so bad, learning so much and finally getting this persistent problem taken care of. So there we go, guys. It's, it's fitting that I would start the year off with my first video uh, being a big reminder of just how human and faulty I am. And uh, so, there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead and hit the thumbs up like button. Leave some comments down in the comment section. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon and going over and selecting all. And, um, yeah, join the Facebook group. Share around. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.